I'm Way 31 Morning Meteorologist Grace Anello, and did you know we're in for a treat tonight? We might very well see the Aurora Borealis Northern Lights here in North Alabama yet again. Now it all stems from the sun. On Tuesday night, there was an explosion on the Earth's surface that sent a surge of plasma through space. That plasma traveled towards Earth, was impacted by our magnetic field, and then those two combined. That created a geomagnetic storm. Now that sounds really serious, but actually it happens all the time. Time. Every single time we see the northern lights, it's because that plasma is reacting with our magnetic field and giving us a geomagnetic storm. So what's the difference? Well, this particular storm, due to the amount of plasma, is a whole lot stronger than what we're used to seeing. Now here in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee, we're most likely to see red and blue auroras, partially because those are the compounds that we're reacting with right now, oxygen and nitrogen, but mostly because blue and specifically red wavelengths lengths are the longest. And since this light is traveling all the way from the North Pole here to us in the Tennessee Valley, well, we need some pretty long light waves. And so red and blue it is. That said, this is not the strongest geomagnetic storm. We're at a level G4 out of G5 ranking. However, it's up there with the best of it. And that's why we might very well be the beneficiaries getting to see some of those beautiful northern lights right here at home. So get your cameras ready. In studio with coverage you can count on, I'm Morning meteorologist Grace Anello.